low. In this short lecture, I will give you a couple of reasons uh, for the non-existence of God. The first reason why God uh, doesn't exist is uh, because of the fact uh, that God is perfect, uh, then he would have never created such an imperfect world. The second reason why God uh, doesn't exist is uh, that uh, God would have never created uh, the human beings uh, that are capable to do sins and crimes and so on. And uh, we should ask uh, the simple question, why God created the human beings uh, from the beginning? If uh, his uh, purpose was to put them to the test, then uh, it makes no sense because he could have uh, created the perfect creatures that uh, will never do sins and crimes and so on. And then uh, he didn't have to put anyone to the test. And uh, we should also know that, uh, we should also remember that God knows what will happen in the future. So from that reason, he knew that the human beings uh, uh, will do uh, evil uh, sins and crimes and so on. So if you knew, knew it, uh, why he created, the, he created them from the beginning? And as I have already said, he could have created a perfect creature that will never do any evil at all. Uh, so we can deduce from it that God didn't create it, uh, that, uh, the world. Uh, that is to say, God doesn't exist. The second uh, reason for uh, the non-existence, the, actually the third reason for the non-existence of God is... Uh, <coughs> Uh, because uh, God would have never created such a reality where there are so much human sufferings, so much uh, violence, uh, so much uh, deaths and uh, murders, uh, and so much uh, diseases and wars, and uh, so, <coughs> so much uh, uh, natural disasters uh, such as uh, earthquakes, uh, floods, and hurricanes. So God would have never created such a bad world. And uh, therefore God didn't create uh, this world. That is to say God doesn't exist. The fourth reason why God doesn't exist is that God would have never created such a reality where the uh, very existence of the predator is dependent in his ability to kill the prey. The, uh, the very ability, the very existence, the very existence of the predator is dependent in his ability to kill the prey. The very existence of the lion is dependent in his ability to kill the, the deer or, or the lamb or any other uh, uh, animal uh, in order to survive. So such a cruel reality where there, uh, uh, where there is uh, so much injustice would have never created by God and uh, therefore God uh, didn't create the, the world uh, that is to say, God doesn't exist. The, the fifth reason why God doesn't exist is that uh, there is actually three monotheistic religions. Monotheistic uh, is defined as a belief in one God or the oneness of God. And uh, the religious, the, the, the religions are the Christianity, the Judaism, and the Islam. 
and they contradict each other in their descriptions of how God created the world. Uh, and uh, they also don't have the same God. Uh, the God of the Christianity is not the same God as the God of the Judaism or the God of the Islam. So because of all those contradictions and differences in gods, we can say that they, they are all false, they are all not true. They are all the invention of the human beings. And God also was created by the human beings. Therefore, God doesn't exist. And the sixth and the last uh, reason why God doesn't exist uh, is a logic reason. We can say that logically such an entity that is omnipotent uh, can uh, never exist or uh, logically such uh, a uh, being that is all power can uh, not exist, uh, I will explain why, because we can ask the simple question, if God is able to create uh, such a big stone that he himself cannot lift. If the answer to that question is positive, then we can deduce from it that God is not able to lift the stone that he himself created. So God is not omnipotent, God is not all power. And if the answer to that question is negative, then we can simply say that God is not able to create such a big stone that he himself cannot lift. And then we can deduce the same conclusion, that God is not omnipotent, God is not all power. Uh, so anyway, we can uh, conclude from that example that such a being that is omnipotent logically cannot exist, or, or such an entity that is all power cannot exist logically. And uh, therefore, God that is defined as all power cannot exist logically, and therefore God doesn't exist. So those uh, were all the reasons for the non-existence of God. Okay, thank you very much.